Hey guys, this is the most efficient guide on how to turn on or off um, Notion's dark mode or light mode. I'll just jump right into it. The quickest, quickest way to do it is on your keyboard, and I'll get to mobile in a second as well. On your keyboard, uh, use Command if you're on a Mac or Control if you're on a Windows. You want to press Command Shift L, and when you press that, this is what happens. It switches between light and dark mode. Of course, that's Control Shift L um, if you're on a Windows. Um, we have a text guide here, and I'm also going to show you the following thing, which is you can also change it. Uh, you will notice that this is at least for me, it is temporarily. So if I open up a new Notion page, uh, the setting is not saved. It rather takes the system setting. Um, what you want to do to keep that permanently is hover your left side, or you might have this turned on right here, up to you. You want to go right here, settings and members. And after you click settings and members, you want to click this, my notifications and settings. So on this tab, you will have the following appearance, customize how Notion looks like on your device. And you will want to change to either light, dark, or you can use the system setting. And then depending on how your system uh, operating system setting is applied, in my case right here, I've got, let's see, general, and I've got dark. See, so that this changes automatically. Um, I switch it back to light, that's it. So that's pretty much what happens on the browser sorry, on, uh, on desktop. And of course this happens in the browser as well. I've covered this. If you want to do it on mobile, um, you want to go on the sidebar and it's about the same thing, notifications and settings. And it's about the same. It's just a different layout, obviously, because it's on mobile. Um, you will want to use the following drop down. But what I do most of the time myself is um, when I, no, not this. When I'm on a page and I want to have it on uh, on dark mode, I just switch Command Shift L or Control Shift L, and that's pretty much all you need to know.